What's up, Dang Squad? This is Reed back with another video, and today I'm just gonna be giving y'all a little life update. Um, and yeah, uh, this is the wig that I had on in the previous video before this video, but I cut it. It is a little bit uneven in the back, but I'm gonna fix it. But in the front, it looks cute. So, so guys, I have some good news for y'all. Earlier, okay, so if you've been a subscriber, you know I was trying to go to the Navy, blase, blase, whatever. And so, y'all know I've been trying to go to the military, and you know I've been trying to live that military lifestyle. Okay, okay. So, first time I took the ASVAB, I got a 25. A 25 is not passing. If you want to enlist into the military, for certain branches, um, the Army has to have a 31. I heard the Navy now, you have to have a 31 as well. So, mostly you have to have a 31 to pass to get into some branches into the military. I had a 25. After that, I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm done with the military. I don't want to do this. And, yeah. So, I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm not doing this. So, I this was back in May. I took some time off and... Six months, from May to now six months, um, I went back to school um, for medical bill and coding. It, I liked it. I did like coding and stuff, but I don't like school. School's not for me. And yeah, that's just, that's just that. I don't really, school's just not for me. So, and school's not for everyone. So I was, I woke up one day and I was like, you know what? I'm really going to try to do this military stuff again. Like. I, the day I woke up, I went to the Navy office, which I was going, I was going to go to the Navy. Um, I went to the Navy office and I did a practice test. I got like a 25 or something like that. And, you know, I just, my mom was in the Navy. That's where she met my dad and my stepdad was in the Air Force. So my mom told me, she was like, you know, it's either Navy or Air Force at first because she doesn't really know about the Army, you know, stuff. And apparently... The other branches has a better living lifestyle than the army. Um, so at first I was just going with what she wanted me to do. I told myself, I said, you know, I think I should look at other branches just to see like what other branches had to offer me and stuff. So I went to the army office and I immediately clicked with my recruiter. Shout out to her. I immediately clicked with her and like, she just made the process go by so smooth. Like honestly, this process took two weeks. Um, today's Saturday. On Monday, I'm going to go to the hotel for MEPS, and I'll probably um, after I pass MEPS and stuff, and you know, swear in, I'll upload a video about how my MEPS experience went and what you should do and what you should not do. But she made the process go by so smoothly, and honestly. With the Navy, it took me like two weeks. No, it took me like a month of taking a practice test. And then another month of like doing the actual ads. That's when I scored 25. At first on the practice test, I took a, no, I had a, oh, um, sorry. I had a 47 or something. That's when I took the real test because she thought, okay, you're ready for the real test. And I got 25. So I went to the Army Recruiter office the next day after I went to the Navy Recruiter office. I know it's so much. But um did that and I got 27. She said take a week, you know, study and come back and take the, you know, practice test again. So I studied, I made this um board right here. I'll probably insert a picture somewhere on the screen. And um that really helped me. Um, the ASVAB book for dummies and this Facebook group called ASVAB Mastery Group. The people in that group is amazing. They helped me study. Um, I just really took time to study, 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 study. Um, if you see my last video about the how to um, pass the ASVAB and stuff, I did post the ASVAB book for dummies and the books that I use. So if you want to go check out that video, you can. Um, but yes, I made this poster, it's all about math and stuff, and the score that I got on my ASVAB is a 44. So my line scores for um, science, okay, my standard scores. General science was 42, arithmetic reasoning and math knowledge was my worst subjects ever, and this is what I was struggling with. 
Arithmetic reasoning, I got a 55. Word knowledge, a 43. Paragraph comprehension, a 45. Math, math knowledge, I got a 53. So arithmetic reasoning and math knowledge was my highest scores out of all these scores. Um, and then the other stuff, it's like the, AS, the ASVAB has like mechanical, electricity, stuff like that, auto shop. I did not like care about that. I was just clicking and guessing through it because at first I was so tired. Like I was straining my eyes like this just to stay awake and finish the test because the math took me out and it worn me out. But I finally passed, got a 44. Um, at first I got 25 to a 44. That's a 19 point difference. And if I would have went, if I would have got a 45, um, I would have had to take a verification test, taking the whole ASVAB again, because once you take the, okay, so if you fail the first time, then you pass the second time, or whatever, you have, if it's in a six months difference, you have to take a verification test if your score raises 20 points or higher. And I'm just so glad it was at that 19 mark, because I do not have to take a verification test, which I'm so grateful for. But, yes, um... Yes, yeah, so I will be going to MAPS on s Monday. Um, no, I'll be going to MAPS on Tuesday. I'll be swearing in Tuesday, but I'll be going to MAPS Hotel on Monday night. And yeah, I'll probably do a little vlog, you know, if I can. But I'm just so grateful for this opportunity and looking at your next <laughs> future soldier. And what does that mean for my channel? Um, basically, I already picked my job. So in the Army, you could pick your job. Um, I got 92G, 92 Golf. That is a culinary specialist. A lot of people have different things they have to say about this. But um, if I don't like the job, I'm just going to reclass and pick take my ASVAB score again, take my ASVAB score, take my ASVAB again, and then reclass, get a different MOS. But honestly, I'm just glad that I could get into something because I do like cooking. So we'll see how it is. I'll be cooking for the whole goddamn army, basically. But yeah, so what does this mean for my YouTube channel? This means that I will... After boot camp, I will be uploading, um, once I get my schedule and stuff straight, I'll be uploading, you know, talk about the army life, doing military Mondays, what it's like to be in the army, blase blase, traveling vlogs, 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 more stuff about the army, um, I'll still continue doing the hair thing, because I see a lot, I have a lot of girls on my channel that likes that, but yes, um, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity and I just want to say thank you for everybody that helped me along the way and that supported me, my parents that supported me with my decisions of going to school, military, going to school, military, you know, being indecisive and just my family supporting me no matter what and so I thank God, the man above, for giving me this opportunity to... So as you can see, I'm already about to tear up watching myself, about to cry and Fun fact about Bree, when I get emotional and stuff, I start acting like perky, like, oh my gosh, yes, you know, like, yeah, so don't make fun of me, don't come for me, because we not pussies over here. It's okay to show y'all emotions, okay, period, period, poop. You know, experience these life changes, and everything that happened this year is just, like, so freaking amazing, like, Everything happens for a reason, and I might do a story time about everything that I went through in 2019 because that is who made me the person I am today, and I'm not going to get emotional because, no. But, <laughs> yes, I just want to say thank you. I'm very humble for all the stuff that I've been through um, and made me into the person I am today, and I'm just very grateful for these opportunities that God has presented to me, and... Yes, because if you're not humble, he will take it away in a heartbeat. So always remember that. But this is just a little life update. Um, going to the military, guys. I'll let you guys know how the MEPS experience went. And yeah, this is just like a little sit-down video, you know. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe.
don't forget to follow me on my social medias i'll link them down in the description box below or they'll be right here in the corner somewhere but yes um thank you guys for watching and peace in the middle east thanks squad